Jordan Knight. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning. How are you, good sir? I'm, I'm okay. I'm a l- tiny bit under the weather, but... Uh, well, you, well, are you not feeling good? Is it the throat, the voice? Or uh, what I think you got? it's a little little stomach flu. If I make any sudden movements, it, it could get ugly. But uh, we're doing will, our- will you have that corner of the studio to yourself? You do <laughs> yes. whatever you need to do. I'm just, yeah. You know what I thought about you during the news? I think about you a lot, Jordan. And he I does. thought about you during the news because Lena was talking about the six-year-old. Did you hear about the six-year-old kid getting patted down by TSA? Yeah. Six. Do you six years old kid? Six. Do you ever, when you're traveling, get patted down just because TSA is like that's Jordan? That's well, Jordan Knight, let's pat him down. Um, just yesterday I went through uh, security and uh, I think I went in front of one of those X-ray machines. Yeah, the full know, body thing. Yeah. yeah, and don't they take a, a naked like picture? Like a naked of you? full body. <laughs> yeah, and I was just, I was just like, wow, you know. I, Wow. They so it's out there somewhere. They yeah. print it out. They have you sign it afterwards. Right. Like, exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, I could sign this and, you know, somebody could make a lot of money. On days like today when you're not feeling good, sure, one of the friendliest celebrities we met, and we've noticed that a lot of celebrities are very friendly. Um, uh, on days like this when you don't feel very good, do you just kind of want to go through the airport with like a ball cap pulled down and sunglasses and a trench coat. Do you ever have days like that? Oh yeah, I have days like that. But uh, actually, Donnie's more like that. He's always with the baseball cap and, and shades. But uh, I'm I'm usually out there. I don't I don't mind getting kind of getting stopped and stuff like that and ask for autographs. It's all good. Does now, it, is this, does it still make you happy and this little ego boost, or is it more just part of the job at this point? No, no, it, it's. What I say all the time is, if people weren't stopping me, if people weren't asking for my autograph. That I would be unhappy with that. Do you That's know a good what I mean? point. Yeah. And when we talk about it all that time, like Lindsay Lohan, who's always complaining about the paparazzi, but you know the minute they stopped, right. she'd be complaining about not getting the attention. It can become a double-edged sword for, for celebrities when they start hating on it. And, and they want it, yet they, yet they hate on it. So it, uh, that makes no sense. Right. Now, now right. you you do a good job of, you get your share of paparazzi moments, and you, know, you see you once in a while on, you know, nothing scandalous, but... Do you think that some of these celebrities could do a better job? It's like, I hate the paparazzi, yet they always seem to be there. You know what I mean? You could have the paparazzi follow you if you made it, if you wanted to. Right, right. Well, thank God I don't live in L.A. But it be, but there's, you know, people like Britney Spears and, and Lindsay and all these people. Um, I really, really believe they crave it. And then when they get it, they, they, they get mad. I don't get that. It makes no sense. Yeah, interesting. Let me ask you this one because, you know, we've uh, everybody knows the history and new kids. And I've always wondered this. You were like a you're like a kid with showbiz aspirations and you get in this band called New Kids on the Block. Do you remember, Jordan, the moment or the day or the incident where you said, holy crap, this is kid. This is taken off. This is going to work. Um, I watched. Yes, I watched. um I watched us on the Apollo the Apollo Theater show. Uh, it was on TV, and when I watched that, I was like, "Cause we like we pra- used to practice in my basement. We practiced for t- you know two years before really? we, we put out an album. It flopped. Um, we almost got kicked off the record label. They barely hung on to us. Um, I didn't know you had, had an no album idea. that put out that you put out that flopped. Yeah. So before the big uh, in '86, we put out an album and it totally flopped. And then and then the second one was about to flop it we put out a single it was like going down the tubes and and we did this show the apollo and um i i forgot the name of it but a- anyway uh i saw the show on tv and i was like oh my god like we we're really a group you know what i mean it's like <laughs> oh, the practice has paid off i see it with my own two eyes and um shortly after that uh this the song please don't go girl really took off and became a, a top 10 hit and MTV picked it up, and it just skyrocketed it from there. Do you remember a moment when you real okay? Then you, you see it; it's doing really well. Do you remember a moment, Jordan, when it got out of control? When you said, "This kind of scary sometimes." Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, we had an incident in Korea. Um, we did a show there, and there was it was general general admission, and uh, the crowd it was like a sea of people, and people were falling down and and kind of getting trampled and stuff like that. We left the stage. We went back to our hotel, and um, the the government stepped in, and they said, you cannot leave the country. You cannot leave Korea unless you finish the show. <gasps> and we said, we can't finish the show. People are getting trampled, yeah. and, and it's a mess. So they brought in the military. Whoa. Oh, my God. To be. <laughs> wow. To, yeah, to, to, to police it and bodyguard us and, and make everybody, you know, sit down and, 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 and keep it orderly. So that was... That was really 
banana. It was scary and freaky when the military gets involved. Yeah, yeah, the military. You know, the Beatles had something like that happen in the Philippines. They did a show in the Philippines, and they were supposed to meet. I don't know if you've ever heard this story, Jordan. They were supposed to meet with Imelda Marco. She was having a big reception for him. Right. And they said, eh, we're tired. We're going to take a nap. And the military almost arrested them and didn't let them leave the country. I believe it. I believe it's it. great because they snubbed, Cause they uh, you know, yeah. the, the first lady or whatever. Let's talk about your stuff you're doing today, your music. Tell us about what's going on. I know you got a big tour. When's the tour start? Is the tour starting up? Uh... The tour starts late. Um, the, the tour starts May 25th. Okay. I drop an album May 31st. A New Kids and Backstreet Boys drop an album May 24th. Um, and I have a single out called Let's Go Higher. Um. What else? So not it's not a lot going on then. So you're just no, hanging out just, for a little while. No, just hanging out in Minneapolis. <laughs> Figured I could come up here and hang out. Well, we 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 appreciate that. Um. So we, what is re, are you rehearsing? Obviously, you're rehearsing with uh, Backstreet. This, this Monday we start rehearsing. So you start rehearsing. Where do you go for these rehearsals? You rent a gym. I mean, uh, what, we, we go. We, well, there's a place in L.A. that we're all meeting. Buddy, go there. We'll be there next week. Um. <laughs> It, it, and it's just a nice, big rehearsal hall, so we, we'll all be there uh, putting the show together there next week. So it gets all choreographed, and then you have to rehearse, and then you hit you hit the road. Are you excited about going back out on the road? Um, we we do a cruise first. We there's we have three weeks of rehearsal. We do a cruise, and then we hit the road. And um, I'm definitely excited about you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be. We have so much fun on the road because we're singing, we're dancing, we're doing all the songs we love. Um, we got some new songs. The fan, the the fans are amazing. This is one thing I was wondering: is you know, you twenty years ago you're doing your thing and you have all your hit songs, and I'm sure at some point you get sick of a certain song. Is there now, as you're re rehearsing these songs, do you like? Uh, it's 20 years later. I'm still really sick of this song. I really hate the song. Yeah, I mean that does happen, and then we like throw a little remix on it and then and then the crowd like every tour we have like a new twist on the song and it, it and it's good for our for our like really hardcore fans yeah. because they kind of get sick of the same old song too so <laughs> we always throw a twist on it. but the general public is like what the hell are they doing uh, right. I, I don't recognize that song so what's your big song that you were sick of that's my question oh good question can you um oh man um well, the right stuff, but we always do. We actually, the right stuff, we do like a Minneapolis twist to it. I, really? I swear to God. It's like we throw like the time meets Prince meets Jimmy Jam kind of thing on, on, the, uh, cool. on the right stuff. So, you so know, it, that, that's always really funky. So you're still doing the songs people want to hear, but you're just kind of making more interesting because people have heard the right stuff for 20-something years now. Yeah, absolutely.